Hi, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to TIG weld copper. Now it's not silver soldering, it's TIG welding with our TIG weld 200SX. You set it up just like a regular TIG welder, just with, for aluminum or stainless. You just have to watch the heat. And I'll get you set up here in a little bit and then we can go right at it. Okay, like I was saying, we set it up like a standard TIG welder gun. We got our tungsten, we got our collet, our collet body, our cup, and our cap. And then here's our work right here, okay? Our piece of material, I put a bevel in there so we can see what we're welding, plus you get the better penetration. With copper, that's what you want. You want that penetration. It's got to go all the way through. So, I get my TIG welder set up, and then we'll go ahead, clean it up with the wire brush a little bit, just like that. It's all good. And sometimes you could put rubbing alcohol on it, but you really don't need to with this case because the copper is fairly clean. So let me get my hood and we'll go ahead and run a bead. So I'll go ahead and put my hood on and we'll run a bead. Now when we get ready to weld it, as always, you got to tack it first. Copper especially it gets really, really soft and it will spread on you. What I'm doing here is actually preheating the material before I'm even getting ready to dip my rod. I'll put a little bit of rod there just to see how it'll start flowing. And warm it up a little bit. Not quite enough, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and oscillate my cup a little bit. Just preheat in front of me. And it'll start flowing. See, I'll start going around, fanning it just like a torch, a flame torch. Now we're starting to get the puddle going. Once we get that puddle set, then it's just like standard TIG welding. Just dip your rod easy right in front of the puddle. But you have to watch your heat, because copper will get really soft. That's where it's, it's similar to aluminum. And it'll start flowing once it heats up. With copper, you have to be patient. You can't really weld that fast. You have to watch how it flows. Like I said, it's just like welding marshmallow. Once it starts running, it'll run nice and smooth. Okay, now this is what it's going to look like after it's welded. It's not going to be shiny, it's not going to be pretty looking, but it's welded. So the best way to clean it up is go to our trusty water bucket. Don't touch it because it's hot. Come back, I'll come like that. Let it cool down a little bit. It didn't get any bleed through, but it's with the bevel, you've got the good penetration. And after it cools down, take a wire brush to it, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. But there you go, that's how it is in copper. And uh, let me wire brush it for you. It's cool down a little. You can take like scotch right to it, and it'll clean it up to a nice shine. But now you can see actually what the weld looks like. Then you can grind it a little bit. And there you go. I got it welded up, and I, I quenched it in the water. So it doesn't look like brand new, but you can buff it out. You can use a muriatic acid, um, a soft pad, a little like a scotch brite, and uh, grind it down if you want. But you've got the penetration in the weld and that's how you TIG weld copper. Thank you for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab and I'm Rob and I'll see you next time. Bye.